Well, Stanford's longtime sailing coach was also charged in this scheme today. He pleaded guilty to accepting bribes and was fired. His attorney claims he didn't pocket the money, but instead it went towards Stanford's sailing program. Well, Night Beats' Kristen Ayers is live at Stanford with more on the cheating allegations. Kristen? Yeah, Ken, some of the most prominent parents who were allegedly involved in this scandal live right here in the Bay Area. They are accused of cheating to get, get their children in here at Stanford and other elite universities like Yale and USC. The 13 Bay Area parents implicated in the admission scandal are high powered and high profile, and now they're facing high crimes. Among them, this man, Manuel Henriquez, seen here after ringing the opening bell at the New York Stock Exchange years ago. He's the CEO and founder of the Palo Alto based company Hercules Capital. According to court records, he and his wife Elizabeth paid a $25,000 bribe to get a cooperating witness to sit side by side with their daughter during. During the SATs and provided her with answers to the exam questions. After the exam, he gloated about the fact that they had cheated and gotten away with it. Then there's Augustin Hanias, proprietor of Hanias Ventners. Hi, is Mr. Hanias here? His housekeeper closed the door on us at his lavish San Francisco home. Court documents claim that last year, Hanias wired $50,000 to the people running the scheme. And in exchange, a cooperating witness assisted his daughter to answer questions during the SATs and corrected her answers after she had completed it. Authorities claim investor entrepreneur Todd Blake and his retail executive wife Diane were also in on the scandal. In March 2018, Todd celebrated his daughter's admission to USC on Twitter. Prosecutors allege to get her in, the Blakes bribed an athletic director with $50,000 to USC Athletics and another $200,000 to Rick Singer, the man behind the scandal. In return, court documents claim their daughter's volleyball credentials were embellished with falsified information. Another high-profile parent caught up in this scandal is Bill McGlashan. He's a co-founder and managing partner of TPG Growth. He has now been faced, uh, placed on indefinite administrative leave. Ken? Well, just amazing how wide-ranging uh, this was, Chris. And it seems, though, there is one thread. They all had money. Absolutely, and they used that money, according to these court documents, to try and influence whether their children got into these universities and how high their SAT scores were. So that's right. what investigators will be looking at going forward. Kristen Ayers, live at Stanford. Thank you, Kristen. Now, we have posted the full federal complaint and a list of all the California defendants on KPIX.com.